So in the last class, we were running this test login. Okay, let me try it out, run it again. That it should work fine till here. Okay. Okay, it is working fine till now. Now the next thing, hmm, so this way uh, we can make our test cases run optionally and conditionally. Now if you go, if you see, we have done lot of hard coding. Say run mode, arg, else. So we should remove these hard codings. So let me create one more module. Just a second. So I name it as constants. Okay, so I created a new module constant. So here what I will do, I will keep our things. Okay, so let's keep first of all our sheet head. So how can I do test? So our sheet name is say test cases. Okay, then we have data sheet. I'm also passing the path. Let me make it as Test resource underscore resources. So I will have the path till my test resources. I won't be taking the path of every thing. Okay, just copy because this path this will remain the same. Else, thing can change. So I can use any of the file. I can just need to call this test resources. And always should have double quotes on it. Now we can have the file path. Okay, and how can I call it? See, till here I am having the path. Till here I am in the path, I have to just go to this. So what I can do, I use it. And give a plus, and the name of our file is pdf.xlsx. See, pdf dot Excel SX. Okay. So first go to uh, let's go to our file reading data. Let's start removing these things. So where is my file reading data is here. And see this reading data should also be the part of test resources. Now that's why I move it here. Okay. Now if I go to my file, this is reading data. And let's start doing the things. Okay. See, we have a data sheet. So I create the name here. Data sheet and test pieces. Okay. So let's start how we can do it. So see, over here, test case name is your. So I will remove it. So how can I remove it? I can remove it, say, pause time. So 
foster so i need to import foster also okay so do one thing first of all from as resources okay import constants okay now we can use this constants dot Let's see anywhere else this data sheet is used. Here also, here also, I can remove it. Let's check anywhere else. Here also. Let's remove it. Just a second. You need to remove from everywhere. So we have removed all that things. Now we have test cases. Now we have test cases. So I can also remove these test cases. So I can get it. Constants dot and we have test sheet. Okay, it will have its number. So I can remove these also. So now in the complete module, I am left with only two things. What is TC ID and run mode? Okay, let me keep this also as in, so that you put it as TC ID underscore all of equals to say TC ID. And I can get run mode. Mode, okay, underscore column is equal to okay. what more we can do here? See, we used yes and no also, okay. So let me do it that also. So give it as run mode, yes. I am using this why because we forget case sensitivity multiple times. You give small y. See, last run I gave n t. One day I gave t. I thought two. Okay, so you have to remember it. And, okay, so now go to your reading data and just go here. TC ID I want to put so here. Constants dot add div as TC ID column. Okay, and run mode. Dot run mode column. Okay, and I change the areas also. So now we don't have any hard coding. So I can also remove this test case name. Okay. And and I can pass it in our argument list. So how can I do? I can uh, what I can do here. So let's whenever this test case is run, we will get the test case name from here. Yes. See, we don't have any hard coding. Okay. And we need just a second. T E S T. Just 
is e mu so now we will have the test this name so i can remove okay this hard coding is also gone just a second let me check the name let me copy and paste it there should not be any case sensitive let me save it now let me run it it is working fine or not so before it i go to my reading data that is this is our reading data let's see data reading is there any hard code there so in this field we don't have any hard code okay we don't have hard coding fine So see now here we have lot of hard code. Okay. So it is taking my two arguments here. Get cell data. Where is our get cell data? Yes. So what are all the arguments it is taking? Reading data. Just a second. Now we need to pass our test case name also. See, I did the change there. Okay, so we'll pass it our test case name here. Okay, from here. So what I can do? So give it as login. Login test. Okay, comma. And we need to pass the. We need a find path, so we need to import this. Um, this is our const, const test. This is our under this person. So I need to import it. Okay, go here, save it, and you can give it a constant dot, and I need to get XLS file path. Now, if you go here, see now it is so short. And for say next function, we we will be having the same thing. I have a function that is is runnable. There it is. This is my function. Okay. Yeah. Here it is. We are having a function is runnable. And here I could also pass the same thing. Here I can also pass the same thing. Now we need to make one more. 
we need to remove run mode also. So I can give dash constant dot run mode for okay. One more hard coding on run mode. Yes, I can give constant dot run mode. Yes. Fine. Let me run it and see all the things are working fine. One error right. Just a second, let me check it out. Just a second, let me check in my data sheet why it is showing me error. See the mistake which I did here. First thing, see is runnable mode. What I did, it was something like this. But our function is the second. Uh, this path is the first parameter, and function is the second parameter. So I removed it from here and comma paste it. And for meanwhile, I am keeping. I am not using this test resource. I am giving the XLS part directly. We have faced sometimes many issues in it that if I want to replace like this, so currently I'm using my full X path. I'm using my full X path. Okay. So now if you see which test case we are running, currently we are uh, on test sheet. Okay. Test cases. Okay. I am running test cases. And uh, let's go to test cases. We have all the run mode as no. So all the three cases under it all the three cases under the login test got script got it any issues till now please let me know so we will start seeing now how we are going to incorporate we are going to incorporate all these things with our selenium code okay we will incorporate with our selenium code let's start and see how much we can do today Now what we will do, let's open your this sheet. Fine. And let's see. I am having make it as yes. So we need to make some changes. Okay, go to your data sheet. Okay, now we should have some uh, data. We should have some data. Okay, I am using Mozilla. I am putting other as no. Please, if you do practically use Chrome also, as also whatever you want to use. Okay, and I give here my username for the site and password for the site. I give my username, so browser is there. I give the username. Okay, and give the password. Fine. You can create your own username and password with it right okay so i give it here also save it fine and all things are fine here okay let's make it as say you must be running on say chrome Let's try it out. Okay. Now I 
go to my test case and try to print that value. Okay, if I go here, and uh, like here, if you go here and give print, so how can I use it? Use an argument value of wells. Okay, so let's give the column name. I give the column name. Uh, where is my print? Suppose I want to give browser name. Okay, copy it. Okay, and give the value of browser. Save it. And I can also check username and password. Just give it as username and password. Okay. So I am providing these so these values we are going to use. Okay. Suppose and I do some changes also. Say I give pass uh, username incorrect, password incorrect. Okay. So there will be multiple situations. Now let me run it. Okay, let's try it out. Yeah, that is fine. One pass, two scripts. See, now you can see I am getting the browser as Mozilla. Okay, the username is this and password is this. So now I can use this data easily and only one test case will run here. Only one test case is will run. That is one we are using. Other Others two are skipping here. Okay, other two are skipping here. So how can I use it? So, so let's try it out. Now see, we are going to use the data here also. We are going to use the data here also with our Selenium script, okay? So what I can do, so let's open up the browser, see I created the fixture here, I have created this fixture, okay, every code is now with you. Now I need to specify the browser according to that data, okay. So I will have it over here. Let's pass it. So let's let me try. Okay, let me give. And suppose I give C. Uh, what I do, I put this also as yes. Okay, and I am opening Mozilla again. You can try with Chrome also. Save it. Okay, now let's see whether it opens our two browsers or not. Just a second. Let me check it out. I am running. Oh, 
of two failed. Hello, our attachment is still so Just a second. See, the resume issue 